Hi everyone, this is Doc T with another 5-Minute Guide to Understanding Your Horses Better. I want to talk today about hanging buckets and eyelid safety. There's a racetrack vet who saw a lot of torn eyelids, half hanging on, maybe completely taken off. And he wanted to know if there's a common factor. He looked to see how the handle was attached to the bucket. He also looked to see what device was used to hang it to the wall. And these were his conclusions. One, protect the edge of the handle from exposure to the eyelid. And two, orient the snaps to face the wall. Here's a bucket, and on the left side, you can see that the tip is covered by the manufacturer with a plastic cap. The other side, the tip is exposed. It's these exposed tips that can catch the eyelid and tear it off as a horse rubs his head against the bucket. Here's the bucket where the owner has placed tape, electrical tape in this case, around the end of the bucket so the eyelid cannot be caught. Here's the safety bucket and well worth the money as you can see the handle is curved around and hidden behind a plastic tab. Somebody else has invented a fabric with Velcro adhesions to cover each tip. Also note that these buckets are hung with safety hangers where the horse can't catch the eyelid on any hook. Here's a picture of some thumb snaps of the double-ended snap holding the bucket to the wall where the edges are facing out toward the face which can catch the eyelid and that's bad. And here, in the same picture, the, face, the uh, thumb snaps face the wall, and that's good. Here's a picture of complete bucket safety, where both thumb snaps have their latches facing towards the wall, and all ends are taped. In addition, you might note that there's a plastic tube running into the bucket, which is the water feed in this case. So that's it. This is Doc T, and I'd like to thank you for watching this five-minute video on bucket safety.